Hello everyone, my name is Astra Diaz and today we're going to be talking about how to create your personal altar. This is something that will help you connect not only with your spiritual self, it will help you achieve your personal goals. think altar paints witchcraft no religion no this is more than religion and this is nothing to do with witchcraft the altars are vocal points to spiritual connections with a church the temples you know you can see an altar at an Asian restaurant and you see that they have their little Buddha um, altar in the front where they give offerings to their god with fruits or coffee sometimes alcohol <sighs> your great grandmother's house you know i think altars are very important now what i'm going to be doing and what i'm going to be helping you out because technically i should be helping myself out and that's why i'm doing this video because i lost touch with my spirituality as you guys seen on my last video on um how to clean your space using sage. I talked about how I've lost my spirituality due to outside circumstances that I kind of attracted in my life. But it's okay because we're not gonna beat ourselves up for something that we can change. You should be thankful because you're like a few of the people that can actually make shit done. So I did a lot of research on YouTube because I didn't want to talk about something and not back up my facts. You know, I didn't want to have information up to it. So I made sure I took notes. You're going to be seeing me make my altar from scratch. Now the things that you will be needing, you don't need all these things that I have. Now these are things that are very, um, I, I connect with these objects or items. And I feel like when I think and I meditate, I feel like I have a big connection with that item, with the goal or whatever I might be praying or meditating about. Now what I'm going to be putting on my altar is my vision board because I feel like not every altars have this but I'm going to be doing it with mine because like I said this is where a place where I'm going to be meditating. I'm going to be praying. I'm going to be talking to God and be like God I need you to help me with this struggle. Take away the sorrow and show me the way. Um, what I'm going to be putting on my altar my beautiful lovely grandfather that passed and I still feel that he's here with me when I have a candle. I believe candles are very important to have in your altar because I've seen this in someone's YouTube, but they said that candles are like an offering to the universe. So um, meditate and say if I'm praying, I always talk to my grandfather, always. This man is always by my side. Um, another thing that will be cool to have in your altar is incense and the incense holder. I have two because I love incense and um, I have different ones. Some of them could be for protection, other could be for um, blockage, seven chakras, how to attract money, how to attract love. There's so many incense out there that you can find that best fits for your needs. And me because I really love um, Buddha. You can have a little Buddha or you can have like a god statue or saint statue or whoever. Um, you can have Nefertiti. What I have, you don't have to have this either. I'm gonna be cleaning my altar. So before you get your altar ready, you must always cleanse your space, okay? Whether you do it with a sage, a white sage, or what I use to clean my altar is Florida water. And another important thing that you can have is crystals. I am a big crystal lover. If you know me, y'all know that your girl look weird holding crystals and looking like she talking to them. But that's me. I have deep connections with crystals because I believe crystals have helped me achieve a lot of things in my life. It's crazy that you can connect with something that is not alive, but it's 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 alive in its own way. It sends it emits out a low frequency into the world, and we can connect. And each crystal does its own little job. Let's get started so you guys can come along. Come, let's go. Come on, we're gonna be going over there. So, we're gonna be using a Florida water. Let's focus on that. Now, I got this from a spiritual shop using no chemical cleaner or any of that stuff. I'm using Florida water because 
everything it's very you know resemble something and you know why would you want to put chemicals on top of your your little vortex of positive energy that you want to manifest things or pray to you know your deceased people that you love and care for and what this used to be is um it's one of those little shelves where you can like put like a plant and put your magazines at the bottom but what i put on the bottom is like my incense i have my himalayan salt lamp some other stuff like my calendar stuff that represent your life uh candles you know just call it your little spiritual storage and then now i'm gonna splash a little bit more of the florida water now these ones one is the Om symbol and the other one is Virgo. You're not to attract more money. Like who doesn't want more money? Now I'm gonna put this away in my little storage. We call this vision station slash altar. Hello everyone, and today we're going to be talking about, no, I'm not going to start that one like that. Hello everyone, my name is Jocelyn, and today we're going to 